is Micro Four Thirds for photographers? Stick around to find out. Hi there, I'm Peter Forsgaard, an Olympus visionary from Helsinki, Finland. And before we start to talk about whether Micro Four Thirds is suitable tool for a professional photographer, please consider to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you get notified when there is a new video online. I post two videos a week, usually on Tuesdays and Fridays. My channel is all about you getting to be a better photographer. The new Olympus OMD EM1X was released last week and it got a lot of lot of first impression videos and you can watch mine over, it's actually over there. And a lot of discussions were going on in blogs and rumor sites about its specs. But there was one particular video that started me thinking. It was Jared Poland from Frono's photo that made a first impression video about the new Olympus OMD EM1X. And he stated in his video that Micro Four Thirds is not for professionals. In his opinion, there is too much depth of field when shooting with Micro Four Thirds. And he said that it's not possible to get shallow depth of field with Micro Four Thirds. I'm not saying that he cannot have that kind of an opinion. Of course he can. That's not a problem. The opinion itself. But one thing that I don't understand is that uh, Jared Poling from Frono's photo actually thinks that the criteria of a professional photograph is shallow depth of field. And that is something that uh, I find very strange. And this statement actually reminds me of an article by Alfred Stieglitz from 1897. And I have referred to that article before, especially in this video. In, the, in his articles, he was telling about a, he was telling about stories how in that time, 1897, the small cameras were just new, and the real photographers with big cameras and big tripods said that that's not real photography. It's a threat to real photography, and it's funny how these arguments pop up every now and then. Even though it's a very old article to say that a small camera is not for professionals, which is which I think it's total nonsense. Back in the film days. I used Mamiya 6x7 to most all of my professional work, except when I went out to weddings and corporate venues, then I had a SLR. And nobody ever told me that the SLR pictures were not professional because they had a lot more depth of field than the Mamiya 6x7 had. But with the Jared Poland's logic, the SLR pictures were not professional because they had a lot more depth of field than the Mamiya 6x7 would have gotten me. Professional photography is a lot more than just the shallow depth of field. It's about being in the right place at the right time and what's the most important thing is to click the shutter at the right time. And then of course making images that nobody else is making. It's about delivering the requested photograph and that's the essence of being a professional photographer. With the smaller form factor and a lighter system and superior weather sealing, the new Olympus and also the older model EM1 Mark II can be used in extreme conditions. There was a launch event in Thursday where I was talking with Olympus visionary Ruizzi Rotondaro, who is a bird photographer. And he said that he was testing the X in, in very, very wet conditions in Peru. He had some photographers with other brands they're also with him, but the other photographers could not take any photographs because of the heavy rain. They had to cover up their gear while Luigi was still making images in a pouring rain because he had superior weather sealing to the others. How professional is it when you go to your client and say that, sorry, could I not deliver any images because it was raining? What do you do with the shallow depth of field if you cannot even take any images because of a rain? Another comment that Jared Poland said in his video was that he does not like and understand the high-res mode. That he said that if you need a high-res photograph, why not get a Nikon Z-series camera? And yes, I don't think very many of us will buy the OMD EM1X because of its megapixels. But to have the high-res option with 50 megapixel handheld or 80 megapixel tripod high-res shot, it's a good option for those of us who only need it for occasional reasons. Sometimes I need a picture that has more megapixels because it's going to be printed bigger. And it's a good option to have. And then there's one thing which is really important. The high-res shot is taken with a moving sensor. And when you're taking the high-res shot, you have the image recorded with every pixel color, R, G and B. Usually it's only one of them. So in theory and in practice, the color depth is bigger and there's more information in the picture with high-res shot versus a regular shot. And for example, DP Review found the 
pixel shift, what they call the high res shot. Very, very impressive. What I'm actually saying here is that there is a right camera for the right job. Sometimes it's better to have a small form factor camera like Olympus, or sometimes it might be good to have a medium format camera. It depends on the job you do. I don't agree that the form factor is defining who is professional and who is not. Sorry about this a bit provocative video, but I really get annoyed when people are talking nonsense. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.